look at this look at the amount of work that they put into this to make it ufos racing at night so that's a complete uh, sprite swap. It's obvious what it's inspired from. It's from Crash Bandicoot 3, Area 51, the bonus level from Crash Bandicoot 3 on the PlayStation 1. That's where they got their inspiration. But it's an NES game, and I mean, look at it! Hey there, and welcome back to Retro Video Game Memories. This is the channel where we talk about all the cool games we played back in the day and the memories we have of playing them. In this video we're talking about the Retro Mini Arcade 240 in 1. A cool little gadget that I received as a gift a while back. The Retro Mini Arcade. That's got 240 games in one unit. It's supposed to have puzzle, strategy, racing, action and sports games. On the side it says Red 5, that's kind of the brand, if you can call it a brand. You've got your power button here on the left. On the front you've got uh, the directions stick. Uh, it feels okay, it's got kind of a rubber, uh, rubber buttons underneath. Here's your reset, your volume, that's volume low, medium, high or off toggle. This is SP, this is for the start and pause so that's there you've got your standard a button and b button they feel fine like standard rubbery quality then on the side i mentioned you've got the power on the back you've got the space for the batteries um, what's really annoying is that it's got a screw here so i had to find the screwdriver open it up uh, put in the batteries and then close it up. Unfortunately, when I got it, it didn't have batteries in the box. On the back, some basic info about the manufacturing. Yeah, it's it's a fun little unit. You can uh, hold it in your hand. It's not really that portable, unless you walk around with a uh, urban backpack or something. So let's get into some actual gameplay. Okay, so then for some gameplay of the Retro Mini Arcade. To power it on, I just flip this switch here, and you're gonna see Red 5. Well, that's nice. And then it brings you to this menu to choose from the 240 games. There actually are 240 games, but let's see what's actually on here. What kind of games can we expect? So, uh, just kind of to scroll through them a little bit and to show you what's on there. Uh, up, down, navigates one by one, left, right, navigates one page at a time, so 10 more games, 10 more games. A is not start, A navigates by 80 games, not sure why they chose 80, I guess 240 divided by 3 is 80. Anyway, A and B navigate 80 games plus or 80 games minus. And then you've got your start button with, that you use to start the game. Reset, just kind of resets it, brings you back to the red 5 splash screen, back to the menu. And volume, kind of, when you push it once, makes it louder. Push it again, it's mute. Push it again, low volume, medium, loud. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go through these. And I'm gonna try to play a few of them. You'll notice most of the titles are some kind of uh, butchering of words like Danger Bridge, Road Worker, Pizza Boy, Toad in the Hole, oh yeah, what a nice name, Octopus Sea, makes sense, Greedy Snake, I wonder what that could be. So right now you're probably catching on that these must be some kind of hacks. It's got a backlit screen, so that's nice, but it's not uh, not that great. It's okay, it's okay. Not really terrible, but it's not perfect. It, it, it does lose some of the colors when you turn it in different directions. Not terrible, but not great. See, he, here's one I was talking about. Pulveration. I'm pretty sure pulveration is not a word. So let's see what that thing actually is. 
that's supposed to say polarization. Okay, let's start it. Okay, it's a tank game. Now I'm I'm not sure what games these were originally. First I thought they were all NES games, but then I came across some titles which I think are Game Boy Color games. So a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of hacks on this thing. Let's try something else. F22. Let, let's start that one because it is the first one. So let's see. F22. Well, that's a shoot enough. This one's actually fun. B does sorry A does nothing. Maybe it's a it's a button to our power ups. Yeah, it's it's okay. Let's do nothing. Yeah, you got power ups. You shoot other planes. It's fun. Let's see something else. Racing fighter. Could it be road fighter? Let's see. Racing fighter. What? I don't remember this intro from any game I've ever played. Wow. That's yeah, road fighter. Hey, you can shoot. So A accelerates. Oops. I don't remember how to play the thing. So yeah, A accelerates. And I, I'm not good at it. Let's try something else. Police dog lazy, lacy, lassy, lassi. It's not two s's, so it's not lassy. What is this thing? Police dog lassy, lassy. Anyway, start. Stage one, one p times three. What? Is this thing? Now the title screen was promising, but not perfect. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what that was. Let's try something else. All right, and now you're the dog. Oh, you you need to find the clues. Oh, that's interesting, I guess. Let's try something else. Okay, so I managed to find a far better angle, so let's keep going here. Let me just zoom in a little bit. There we go, that looks okay. So then, let's try a few more games. I'm just gonna try some of the ones that look kind of uh, interesting from the name. Boat Race, Toy Factory. Boat Race, what could Boat Race be? I'm gonna bet it's another one of those road fighter clones. Boat race. Level one. Course one. Now, is this road fighter again, or isn't it? Okay, accelerate with B, not sure why. I'm trying to film and I'm trying to talk and I'm trying to play at the same time, so. Bear with me. Yep, it's road fight. Oh, that's the power up? Yeah, that's the power up. What happened there? There was a glitch. I hate those cars that swerve. Yeah, I'm I'm terrible at it. But yeah, it's road fighter. Let's try something else. War zone. I really want to try this. What is this? Because I remember War Zone 2100 on the PlayStation 1. It's definitely not that, but let's see, what is it? War Zone. Well, now it's spelled as two different words. Player, attack, defend. I'll be attack. Okay, so I'm a helicopter. And what am I doing? Don't I? Okay, so I got out of the helicopter and I got shot. I don't get it. Seems kind of terrible. Let's try something else. Balloon shoot. We tried that already. Or archery. None of them have the the original title. UFO race. This is fascinating. I mean, look at it. So UFO race. It's got an entire title in that. Uh, it's got this UFO which has a little animation. It says, please select. I'm not sure what you're supposed to select because you're not selecting anything. None of the buttons do anything. But if you start the game, it's F1 race. 
And what's amazing is, look at this, look at the amount of work that they put into this to make it UFOs racing at night. So that's a complete uh, sprite swap on the game, on the original game. I haven't seen sprite swaps this complex on any kind of a NES game hack. So it's obvious what it's inspired from. It's from Crash Bandicoot 3, Area 51, the bonus level from Crash Bandicoot 3 on the PlayStation 1. That's where they got their inspiration. But it's an NES game and I mean, look at it. It's, I don't know, maybe I'm getting too excited about a ROM hack, but I, I'm genuinely impressed. It's it's a very interesting uh, hack. And yeah, it's, it's decent, it's okay. I can play F1 race. Now I'm on the second lap. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm gonna try something else. But yeah, I, I really like uh, I like this one. This is one of the one of the more interesting games on this on this thing. Let's see what else have we got. Of course, there's way too many to cover in one video, but I'm just gonna try to find a few more interesting ones. Checkers sounds boring. Salt. Pillar, memory test, sounds terrible, javelin, dark castle, it's something terrible I bet, let's see, okay, don't recognize the, okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm the guy at the top, and I'm running around this hedge maze, I don't know, I, I don't think this is an NES game, I, I think it's a Game Boy game or a Game Boy Color game or something like that. Because it doesn't seem like an NES game. Maybe I just don't know the NES library that much. I I doubt it's an original game made specifically for this thing. I, I'm really... I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a hack of some other game, but I don't know what game. Anyway, let's try something else. Let's see what we've got there. Turtles! Hey, turtles! Do you really expect it's gonna be turtles? As in TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? What is this? Ouch, my ears. Doesn't look like Ninja Turtles. Okay, so it's Load Runner. With a reskin to turn him into a Ninja Turtle. Well,. Load Runner is a really nice game, so I I'm pleased that this one's on here, so that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I did not expect Turtles to be Load Runner. Let's see something else. Oh, Mars. What could Mars be? Mars. Okay, let's turn down that volume. Hmm. Seems like some kind of a... Yeah, that's a shoot them up. In space. It's fine. Shoot mobs are generally fun. As long as you've got good handling. This one seems fine. So, okay. Mars is interesting. Hey, it's got Mappy. Is it really Mappy? Well, in the title it says Mappy and in here it says Bounce. And then you've got... Well... It's a complete reskin of Mappy. I'm really upset that they messed up the music. I mean, you hear that. The music's totally butchered. Sounds terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I can't play this. I really love Mappy, but... This is... This is bad. Seems like kind of a jewelry more than Tetris, but once you start it... Yep, it's Tetris. But see, there there is a bit of a problem here. You'll probably notice that the blocks aren't your classic Tetris blocks. You see that thing? That's supposed to be the line. And the problem is the line doesn't exist anymore. So Whenever you were supposed to get the line and it would kind of save you, nope, you get this thing. 
And with this tank, you can't really do much. You're pretty much going to have a bad time. The music, of course, is not the Tetris music, so I'm not pleased with that. Oh, and by the way, you can't rotate your object if you're next to a wall, only when you're away from it. You can rotate it if you're next to the left wall, but not... Wait, not that object. See, now I can't rotate it anymore. So, not that on the left wall. Yeah, you can rotate next to the left wall, but not next to the right wall. So it's Tetris with a whole bunch of things that cripple the game and make it not fun. So I actually tried to play this, I tried to play it for like a quarter hour and I never got the line. So that's a fun little toy, at least for, uh, for having some fun with it, playing it a little bit, it's okay. I wouldn't play it for hours and hours on end. If it had at least a proper version of Tetris or even a proper version of Mappy, then I would uh, play it some more. But yeah, it's it's still nice. It looks nice on the shelf. It looks nice under the uh, Christmas tree with uh, all the other video game stuff that I have. So it's a nice collectible. I do enjoy it. I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. If you liked this video, do leave us a like, leave us a comment. Do you like this kind of portable video game? Would you put a console like this on your shelf in your collection? What do you think about the games? If you like this kind of content, consider subscribing to the channel. We've got a lot more video ideas in the works. And as always, thanks for watching.